I don't have like you know any crazy drug addictions. Or yeah. Kids or ex wives. No or man. Any of that stuff yet. Yeah. But I mean I'm still young. I'm 40. Yeah man, you got time. Bloggy <laughs> foot. Is it okay to park right here? Oh yeah. Right on. My girlfriend sits here. She smokes some alcohol. I don't think she has a meeting or anything right now. Okay. Yeah, I just I'm in the process of moving. Oh really? From Red Key to here. Oh okay. So yeah, it's, there's stuff just everywhere, man. Everywhere. Well, that's no worries there. So, uh, yeah. I, like I said, I tried to just get some of the stuff out of boxes and storage and whatnot there. Have it ready for you to take a look at. Uh, I have no idea what's really here. Looking to do, dude. I'm looking at this new uh, wireless tattoo setup, man. So. Oh really? I was like, oh, let's do some stuff. If we can get there, that'd be awesome. Yeah, that's cool. How much is that? You know? Uh, three and a half. Thousand? No. A oh, hundred. Okay. That would be awesome. <laughs> I don't know how much that we stuff costs. There, but yeah. No, it looks like all mine from when I was a kid. Man. Yeah. That, like, that's cool. Everything. So it's one of the smaller bog ones. Yeah. And that was yours when you were a kid? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess uh, <laughs> so awesome. that one is Weevil. Never came across them before, and then I bought them, and now I'm seeing another one. Yeah, says, I saw that. It's uh, and some garbage pill kids. Yes, those are. It's like mostly modern stuff, right? Yeah, I got it wrote down here. What? And that was cool, Pee Wee. Yeah, I've, like, I saw you were digging something on Pee Wee, and I was like, yeah. yeah, my wife loves everything Pee Wee. Does she? Yeah. Oh, what else we got? Oh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead, man. I said these were, um, I think I said, yeah, those were just, oh, yeah. just so much random stuff. I'm just, just keep piling things in. <laughs> and piling things in. Ghostbusters or something, too, wasn't yeah, there? Yeah, there's no Ghostbusters. Really cool. This one, dude, on the I cannot remember what that is, but you get that. If you own that pistol, and it's the weirdest pistol I've ever seen in my life. Like, uh -huh. when I found that, I thought it was like a, I don't know, I thought it was a video game, like, gun. Oh, really? Because, I mean, yeah, it just looks, yeah. it doesn't look like it's a real gun. Oh, no, for sure. But it actually is. No, it's really cool, though. Hold your glasses or something. Yeah. You know, when you're at Disneyland. Very cool. I got, like, some Motu accessories and stuff. Yeah, there's, there's just a bunch of randomness in these things, man. I love bags of accessories. Everybody needs them. I started going through the upstairs of uh, my dad's store there, mm -hmm. and that's where all my stuff has been sitting forever. Oh, really? Well, it was you know dark and cold. Up yeah, there, and it was like uh, he owns several stores, and it's just so full of stuff. And so the upstairs is just kind of stores like he sells oh, stuff, man, yeah, or yeah. sold stuff. Yeah, he's got a he's got a mid century modern store, and um, he's got another uh, antique store. And, huh. Oh, man, this Dungeons and Dragons there. This is it's more too. Yeah. And dude, those things, I didn't realize how, like, fragile they had gotten just oh, yeah. sitting. Um, like those leg bands yeah, always this dude break. Just broke mm -hmm. yesterday. I picked him up, and I was like, his leg is in the bag. Now, how you can know, you replace, replace those Oh, legs? they're so hard, man. They're okay. so hard. But you can do it. You can? Like, you have to dig in there and pull out all that old rubber. Like, there's... It's like a, a straight thing with like knots on the end, you know, kind of looks like a barbell or something. Right. It's like you have to dig all that out and, and push then push it. in the uh, new ones, push it up through like his crotch and yeah. Um, so they can be worth it, but yeah, I mean, but they're I, I didn't realize they were like just that yeah. fragile now. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, they they uh, dry rotted over the years yeah. for sure. Um, so uh, cops and crooks. Yes. And he is complete. That's cool. Well, other than I don't have his caps. Yeah. Really. Uh, uh, well, this was I don't know. Supernaturals, right? Guys. Yes. And I do have one more of them up north. I need to go. Okay. To. It's the, uh, he's a blue knight, I believe. Yeah, they just fill in all Right. I see parts of a slime pit and parts of a fright zone. That's pretty cool. The, the snake. That's the hardest part. Yeah. This is like this is a bunch of stuff, man. This is just all. I couldn't even tell you what I was in this. <laughs> oh, cool. Uh, Got the changeables and stuff. I hate dealing with, with like Happy Meal toys and stuff, but 
changeables are my weakness. Oh, you do like this? I really like the changeables. I see. I, I don't know where I go. I don't know. Some of them are just kind of. Some of them are just weird, man. But I, I dig them. Like kind of stimpy. Uh, Legit 80s and 90s in here. Oh man, yeah. throws up everywhere around here. Pound puppy. Yep. Uh, Land before time. These are from like Pizza Hut, weren't they? I think so. Yeah. I remember having a set of these. Yep. That's cool. I see a skeeter down here. Is that what Doug. Is? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there is a. There's Doug. There he is. Yeah, there he is. Speaking of McDonald's and the creepiness of it, have you ever? Like, looked into the backstory of all the characters? Oh. No. <laughs> okay, so when you go down a rabbit hole the next yeah. time, uh -huh. choose that one. Okay. It's deep. Backstory of McDonald's oh characters. Like, uh, yeah, that's that's like, 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 most of them, even Ronald, doesn't backstory really deep. However, um... Was it, was it Grimace, right? Grimace. Grimace's backstory is uh. so complex. <laughs> It really is. It, I mean, he has, he has a family and everything oh, that yeah. is like a spin-off. Like, all kinds of stuff I didn't know. Huh. Yeah, like he, but he it is movie. interesting. That's really he funny. He have a movie. And this one, I believe, uh, was a troll. troll That's troll? what I thought. It's got the... Yeah, he's got the... It's got the weird-shaped dome. I'm liking pretty much everything so far. Yeah. Pocket Rocker. Yeah. I completely missed these. I've... I've never seen one before. Yeah. Oh, what is it? I was just looking up. Uh, 1988. Somebody was selling the accessories for it. And uh, it's got like a docking station with speakers. Uh -huh. and, uh, some other real random stuff. So I was like, so that's kind of like the first iPod. Because, yeah. You know, only that could play in it, you know, and uh, nothing else would work with it. So like, can you record yeah. on that? Or is it no, just no, like yeah, built in music? Yeah, it's got two sides to them. Like, they have like, Genesis, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's just a continuous loop of uh, oh, blah, blah. that's it. It's kind of like those hit clips made on yes, yes, it is just tape like instead, much. It's like the precursor to it. It's, that's cool, though. And then there's a little Tamagotchi, oh, yeah, that's one of the first ones, I believe. Is it? Uh, yes, it you know when I looked them up, it gives you like the colors, yeah, and it, that lets you know. The years and whatnot. Somewhere I have Hogan. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I, I know those are the two I had. Remember many a match. That's cool. And then I should have some of the old like rubber wrestlers too. Yeah. Like, uh, like the LJ. I had and the Hasbro and stuff. Um, the Animal Steel. Of course, my Gray Skull and Snake Mountain are not complete. No. Yeah. Are there any accessories at all, or just? Uh, yeah, there are some in there. Yeah. But the microphone right there. stuff is inside there. Dude, but I mean, like, like I said, I needed to like okay. get that set up like 380. Okay. You do like 384 for for everything we talked about. Yeah, yeah. That would be that. What you say? That box, that box, that box. This, this, the wrestler dude and puzzle. So this, uh -huh. this, right. this, uh -huh. this. Yep. And this. Yep. 380. Yeah. 450. You got yourself a Yosemite Sam hat cool. too, though. Because awesome. there's a Yosemite pin in there. But yeah, no, I, yeah, I like it. I've rocked that thing. I like Man. No, that's a good deal. I appreciate that. With that. Yep. I don't have, like, you know, any crazy drug addictions or yeah. kids or ex wives <laughs> or man. any of that stuff yet. But I mean, I'm still young. I'm 40. <laughs> yeah, man, you got time. <laughs> Awesome, buddy. I appreciate this. Uh, let me grab you some boxes. Okay, I can go ahead and take out a couple of these big boxes here. Okay, I'll grab um, well, Hey, thank you, man. Like, I appreciate it, buddy. Take care. If you want to message me about those tattoos or whatever, that'd be cool. Yep. Uh, and, like, so I'll be up north today. Okay, uh, if you come across more stuff, it was okay. literally 20 minutes down the road. So. Okay, awesome. Awesome, man. Hey, have a good day. All right, buddy, you too. All right, we are back in the garage. So a local tattoo artist and viewer named Trevor reached out recently and said that he had been going through a lot of his childhood toys and uh, he was basically looking to unload some stuff 
to raise funds to buy a new tattoo setup. And he invited me over to see if there was anything I was interested in. And man, am I glad that I made the drive. It was, it was a pretty short drive, but uh, it was definitely worth it. He had some really cool stuff, and from the sound of it, there's still more to be found. So when I'm trying to figure out my comfort level as far as cost goes on a deal like this, I try to quickly think about the time, uh, what I know, what I don't know, what I'm willing to gamble on the risk, what could be broken, so on, so on. Uh, and the number that I came up with pretty quickly in my head was 450 bucks. So when he came at me with 380, if this was like a random garage sale, that's something that you wanna jump on. But this was a guy that reached out to me privately, invited me into his home, uh, and from the sound of it, still has more. So I went ahead and paid the 450 that I was thinking of originally, and I still feel really good about it. There were definitely a few home runs, uh, and at least one kind of wild card. So real quickly, let's take a look at some of it. Still lots of stuff in these tubs that I need to go through. Now this box here has pieces from the uh, Masters of, of the Universe Fright Zone, as well as a slime pit. Both really good pieces, unfortunately both incomplete, but that's all part of it. The slime pit is missing most of the skull, which is the most expensive part. It's in good shape otherwise. The Fright Zone is missing the snake puppet, which is the most expensive piece. It does have the tree, which I don't think is broken or incomplete. So, I mean, like even the tree is like a $30 part. And I think it's missing like a clip or two. And then part of the door post is broken off on one side. So it'll still display nicely. But like I said, you know, without that puppet, you're not going to get the high dollar out of it. It's probably still 50 to 60 bucks for the whole thing. Just on quick look, I'm seeing like lots of like 20 to $30 items, which is the stuff that kind of adds up, you know, like once you recoup your cost and everything. A few caps in here that should go for about 25 bucks a piece. Um, I've sold these IMI hats before and they sell pretty consistently for about $25. And then a bunch of random stuff like this old pound puppy. I don't do a lot with Happy Meal toys. They just don't really interest me. But what kind of caught my eye out of this box was the uh, Food Fighter Frenchie right here. Not complete. I mean, his accessories might be in here somewhere. But Food Fighters was a really cool line from, I believe, the 80s. But then there's stuff like the old McDonald's Changeables. There's a bunch of Lion King stuff in here. Uh, Land Before Time. There's part of a TMNT pizza shooter. Lots of little PVC figures. All this kind of stuff goes really well in my grab bags in the antique booth. From what I've seen, this box is a little more exciting. There's a bunch of modern Garbage Bell Kids cards, which I don't collect the modern stuff, but they're still fun to look through. Actually, this one had a bunch of like horror stuff in it from the uh, horror -a bull series. Uh, this is also filled with modern cards. I think there's somewhere around like 280 total Garbage Pail Kids cards. But like I said, they're all from like the last five or six years. Bag of Motu parts and pieces always come in handy. I see a couple leeches in there. I see an Orca that has a zip cord. Uh, no corn trick, but that's still probably a, a $30 figure the way it sits. This is a bag I'm kind of excited about. It's all uh, Motu accessories. I see a bunch of the bows in there. I see Skeletor staff and sword in there. That will actually make a figure I have go from being a worth about 30 bucks to being close to probably 90 or 100 bucks. So that's definitely good for me. Some more randomness, uh, Transformers and TMNT. This Tonka Man Jack is actually like a $25 piece. So this stuff's really going to add up once I start going through it. Cops and Crooks is a pretty good line. This one is complete. I believe his name is Barricade. Um, he needs his band replaced to uh, reconnect his legs to his body, much like a G.I. Joe. No big deal. He's pretty clean otherwise, and he is complete. Uh, once I get that band replaced, this could sell for between like 40 and 70 bucks loose. This bag has a bunch of uh, Tonka Supernaturals in it. Some of them do have their shields, and they have their chest armor with their hoods and everything. Pin collections are always cool to buy. I've bought enough of them to know that you're very rarely going to find something that's worth a ton of money, but they're still really fun to go through. Some of the stuff that quickly caught my eye was this new old stock Ghostbusters 2 enamel pin. It's never been opened. There's a 90-year-old chauffeur badge from Indiana, an Indiana Glass Company employee badge. This is kind of neat. It's a gold-filled employee service award from the uh, Ball Jar Company. Gold-filled, popular company. Sometimes these can do surprisingly well. And now for some of the more interesting, obviously valuable stuff. A uh, vintage Boglin. Who would have thought, after all these years of never finding a Boglin, I would find three and then immediately find another one. This is one of the smaller ones. This is Squeal, also from the 80s. Very good shape. No box or cage or anything, but uh, there's no holes and, and it works really well. And his eyes are purple glowing and very cool. In this condition, he should have a value somewhere in the $50 to $70 range, I think. 
got the ultimate warrior uh do they call these pillow pals or pillow buddies or i can't remember exactly but they're really cool this one has super bright colors there's a little bit of marking on him they normally do because kids uh really beat these things up back in the day but the ultimate warrior version should bring somewhere in the 60 to 150 dollar range an old tamagotchi i've not put batteries in this yet but sometimes those can do pretty well this was never even on my radar this is called a pocket rocker made by fisher price it, it's got one tape with it kind of reminded me of the um, hit clips that they made in like the late 90s or early 2000s and along with this tape should bring somewhere around 75 bucks probably now some of the more wild card stuff is some of the tmnt stuff here first of all this poster this poster i think is from 1988 and it's the same artwork that was on i believe issue number four second printing of the original eastman and laird uh, tmnt comic book line and it's also the same artwork they use for the nes video game so it definitely has some crossover appeal my research shows that since it was made by Western Graphics, that this is the first printing of this poster. There were other printings later on uh, made by other companies. It's not in fabulous shape. It, it definitely has uh, some fold marks and creases and everything. But the last example that sold on eBay of, of this poster sold for, I think, $175. Currently, there's a new version of the second printing for sale for like $500. I don't know if they'll ever get that. But there is definitely a market for this particular poster. And then we have a giant mutating Michelangelo. This is from 1993. Basically, he's the version that his uh, shell opens up and you can turn him into a baby turtle. They did make smaller versions of this also that aren't quite as sought after. But anytime you see like the giant vintage turtles, they're usually worth picking up because they usually have some value. These here have comps for as high as like 175 for as low as like 90. So uh, somewhere in there. And then this is the biggest wild card of all. In the original TMNT lines, like the late 80s to the early 90s, they made lots and lots of stuff. Uh, so, so there's quite a bit that you'll find that's not worth that much money. But there are some toys that had much smaller runs, like your Scratch or your Hotspot or your uh, Cloth Trench Undercover Turtles. This is one of those figures that uh, is pretty rare and pretty sought after, but this one has some problems, so it's pretty interesting. This is one of the giant troll turtles. They also made a standard size version of this that has much higher production runs, but a giant troll turtle in good shape with no accessories, loose out of the box like this. Recently, they're selling for between like five and $700 a piece in the package. The sky's the limit. I think there's one available right now for like $3,600. This one obviously has a problem because he's missing his hair. Um, you can see where it used to be. Also, his belt is uh, missing his R and the pizza graphics behind it. So this one is definitely for parts. And I have no clue what this will sell for, but I have to think it's going to still have some value because the materials that it would take to kind of restore this and for someone to have a discount giant troll TMNT um, I think someone's going to jump on it. The material to, to uh, redo the hair, that could be figured out. Graphics are easy to replace, like little stickers and stuff. He needs cleaned up a little bit. All I've had in the past were the smaller standard size version Troll Turtles, so uh, that's kind of where my knowledge was. So I was shocked when I started looking up some of the giant ones. No clue what it'll actually sell for, but I think it definitely has potential, and I think someone's going to want it, and they're just going to want to restore it. Have themselves a, a nice, decently priced giant team and T-Troll. So I still have a lot more separating to do. Uh, hopefully Trevor calls me back when he comes across some more stuff and we can make another deal. But I'm still feeling really good about this one. I think there's lots of potential once all the work is done. But as always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya. Bye. When they hear that cha-ching and they all look at me, I guess they'll know why I'm buying this crap.